the tip to the Spurs. If you want to look for a telling stat, Shaquille O'Neal has two assists in the entire series. Duncan with the hook, and that's the way game four starts. Interestingly enough, Shaquille O'Neal said, I want to guard Tim Duncan, so he's guarding Duncan today. We'll see what that matchup brings. Uh, and Robinson takes the rebound. Avery Johnson again, left hand. Ellie trying to follow. Gets it back outside to Sean Elliott. Duncan off the glass. Now the Spurs want to run. They want to get early offense. They don't want to just set the ball up in the half court all the time. Avery Johnson to Duncan up high. Sean Elliott around a Duncan screen, returns it to him for the jumper. He has three field goals right out of the box. You know, what will happen with Shaquille O'Neal playing Duncan? Avery Johnson with seven points and an assist already, and David Robinson showing rare agility for a big man with the swipe and the drive for the layup. Who's doing methodically what they want to do, just quietly they're carving them up right now. They were just resetting the shot clock on that last whistle. Look at that move by Duncan. You know, he's got such great footwork. He's not going to try to overpower Shaq. He's going to try to beat him with his footwork and his skill. MSNBCSports.com, the official website of NBC Sports. And this guy does things, and, and he makes them look so easy, the way he plays the game. He doesn't rush. He doesn't get in a hurry. Takes his time. On NBC. Duncan. Kobe to the bench and Rick Fox in. Can't do much better than Duncan, can you? Four for four, three for three, 11 points. Make affection so far. Absolutely. Teams are going to have to call for volunteers. <laughs> Rather than to spin away from it. They called that foul on Reed. It looked to me on the replay like it might have been Shaq. That low, he fronted him, made him work very hard, made it very difficult to just throw the ball in the post to him. So let's see right now if the San Antonio... Jaron Jackson left unattended. See, I... Jackson to Duncan. Fox on him. Looks to spin baseline. And just muscles that shot up. See, Fox can't handle him down there once he gets the ball. The only thing Rick Fox can do is make him work very hard. Gets the Spurs by 14. Duncan. Makes it 16, count the basket, and bring him to the line. Rick Fox has four fouls. Duncan now has 20 points. Tim Duncan against J.R. Reed, backing into the paint for the hook. That little baby hook gives Tim Duncan 22 points. When you're trying to make a move here. Not if it's not in rhythm, and that shot was not in rhythm. He caught it, thought about it, and then shot it. Duncan slips inside. He's got 24, and San Antonio reestablishes a 10-point lead. See, Kurt's got to be very careful here. San Antonio quiets the run and gets three straight scores. And he's kept Duncan fresh, and, and Duncan's throwing up the offensive numbers, but it's been David and committee that have gone at Shaq. Here's Duncan inside. He hits the basket, and Shaq may have fouled him on top of it. As strong as he is to offer just enough resistance to be called for the foul, but not enough to stop a player not nearly as strong as you from going up there, that's not the right approach. Absolutely. If you're going to foul, you cannot give him the three-point play. Shaq with 25 and 10. Duncan. He just can't be stopped, it seems. He's got such a variety of moves in the post. O'Neal, his jumper won't go. Robinson takes it. Johnson, inside the Duncan, running the floor. He will hurt you in so many ways. He runs the floor every possession, whether he gets the ball or not. I talked to Jerry West before the game. He says, Doug, the amazing thing about Duncan, accept that. Can those guys become go-to guys where Shaquille then can dominate the game with his defense and his rebounding in the fourth quarter? 33, one fewer than Shaquille O'Neal, who's the game's high scorer. Before this game, a lot of people talk about what was wrong with the Lakers. 
but being around you guys before the game, I can tell that you guys are all about the Spurs and closing this game out, not worried about the Lakers. Yeah, we came out here, we were really focused. Uh, we knew we wanted to end it here and not go all the way back to SA and have to play another game. Uh, it was great. We came out, played the tennis all the way through, and then finished the game. Each game, somebody off your bench came up big. Jaron Jackson, Jerome Kersey. Every single game, somebody completely... Yeah, we need that from everybody. Uh, uh, we had uh, uh, some great uh, contribu contribution from, uh, like, uh, Will Perdue and, uh, and Malik Rose off the bench coming in and, uh, and guarding the big guy. And then uh, Jaron Jackson came in and hit some big shots for us. Now, who was it you wanted to give a shout-out to? Virgin Islands, everybody in the VI. Okay, good. You've done that. Let's go back to Bob.